Welcome back everybody, welcome to Scars and Whiskey for our next review. Today's review is going to be the La Pelera Habana Black Pearl. Now this cigar uh, is a Bellicosos, which is a 6x2x52. By by the wrapper is Brazilian Maduro. The binder is Mexican, Dominican, and Nicaraguan long filler. It's a medium cigar, and the price is about 4 to $5. Stay tuned for the pre-light. Welcome back everybody for the construction of the cigar review of the Black Pearl. Now we can see the construction is uh, very well uh, tightly bound, uh, minimal veins, and you can see that it does hold up. It's pretty oily and a dark chocolate wrapper. On the pre-lights of the cigar, after a few puffs, uh, we're noticing light spice and a hint of coffee. Not really espresso or a dark roast, uh, but more like a uh, basic everyday type of coffee flavor. But it does have a little bit of a creamy taste, uh, but it's not overpowering. Stay tuned for the first third. Into the first third, uh, initial puffs, we're getting uh, lots of smoke, real thick sensation. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, I would say it's got the chocolate, a little bit of spice, uh, a hint of leather, some earth, uh, but fairly good uh, tasting cigar for one that's uh, more of a budget brand. As we said before, it's between 4 and $5. So for the price and so far the construction and the pre-light and the first third, I think it's a pretty decent cigar uh, for that price point. Stay tuned for the second third. Welcome back everybody for the second third of our review today of the Black Pearl. Into the second third, uh, the profiles haven't changed much. Uh, it is a pretty standard flavored cigar through the first and second third. Uh, still got the it's a little bit of spice, leatheriness, a little oiliness from the wrapper, and hints of uh, chocolate. This is definitely one of those cigars that if you're just looking for something to smoke around the house, or out in the yard if you're doing yard work or just uh, inexpensive uh, stick, this is definitely one of those to try. Uh, stay tuned for our final third. Welcome back everybody to our final third of our cigar review today of the Black Pearl. Into the final third, uh, the flavor profile has changed just a slightly, uh, and I'm noticing now some cedar, uh, but as far as the earlier flavors described of coffee, leather, earth, and some spice it's pretty much uh, stayed throughout the whole cigar and as I said before it's definitely one of those cigars you would want to buy for just a everyday smoke if you like this video please hit like and subscribe always leave your comments thanks again for tuning in to Scars and Whiskey have a great day have a great smoke and we'll see you next time